Meanwhile, in Uganda, the opposition National Unity Platform on Sunday rejected the announced results of the presidential election, claiming Yoweri Museveni as the winner. We are here to inform the country that NUP rejects the announced results of the presidential elections. The results announced yesterday by the EC do not in any way relate to the presidential elections in which you participated as a party. We therefore reject them and ask NUP members and all Ugandans to reject them. NUP is in the final stages of analyzing the data and the information related to this election fraud. We have evidence of about staffing and other forms of election malpractice. And after putting it together, we are going to take all measures, I repeat, all measures that the law permits to challenge this fraud. Uganda's main opposition party demanded opposition leader Bobby Wine's immediate and unconditional release after the party had earlier stated that their leader, who they say is the real victor of the election, was placed under house arrest in the wake of the vote. We demand for the immediate and unconditional release of our leader and the immediate declaration as a duly elected president of the republic because we know he won. We, we also demand for the immediate release of all NUP members and leaders being held in Comunicado in various detention centers across the country to enable them to return to their families or have them charged if at all they have committed any chargeable offense. 38-year-old Bobby Wine, who came second in the presidential election, has reportedly not left his home since he went out to vote last Thursday due to security forces surrounding his house, preventing anyone from entering or leaving. The Ugandan authorities have said that the soldiers and the police were there for Wine's security.